Alright, so this is how to change your bulb in your Sterilite Silver system. First thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you turn off the water to the, uh, to the system and also make sure to uh, open up a faucet somewhere down the line so that you depressurize it. And we do that just to make sure that uh, nothing goes flying when, uh, when you start taking things apart and that we are able to control what, uh, what water comes out. Next thing that you want to do is to unplug the system from the power, just like so. And you usually want to let it sit for a few minutes just to make sure that you don't burn yourself or anything because the lamp can get kind of warm. So once you've let it sit for a few minutes, the first thing that you need to do to start replacing your lamp is to just pull this clip right out away from the chamber and that enables you to just lift straight off this connector. You'll see right here that this lamp actually stayed right in the connector. That doesn't always happen, but if it does, the easiest thing to do is just to grab the lamp right here and hold it while you pull the connector off. And you can just let that hang like so and slide your lamp out. Now, if all you need is to change your lamp, you'd pretty much be finished right now. But we do recommend that uh, anytime you're changing your lamp, you also clean the sleeves. So I'll show you how to remove that as well. First thing that you want to do when you're removing the sleeve is to loosen this bolt off the bottom here. And then you'll see there's a black o-ring there. We just want to take that o-ring off so that we can actually get the sleeve out. So just slide right down like so. Now you will want to have a bucket underneath you when you're doing this because this will release some water and you don't want it to get everywhere. And then with that o-ring off, we're just going to put this cap back on to make sure the sleeve doesn't fall out. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the top of the chamber here. I'll just loosen this and bolt here. Take the whole sleeve right on out. Uh, this, uh, you can see our sleeve here is pretty clean, uh, this isn't always the case, so just want to take a look at it, make sure that there is no buildup on it, if there is, you can clean it with some CLR or some LimeAway or a similar product, and once you're finished, then you can just in in reinstall it back into your system. All of our lamps do come with two brand new O-rings that you can use, that way uh, your system is always at its peak performance. So, to reinstall it, we do pretty much the exact same thing, but in the opposite order. So we'll just start by inserting the sleeve into the chamber there. Just like so. We'll put the first O-ring on the top. You just want to push that O-ring all the way down so it seats right against that metal there. And then we'll put the bolt on there, keep everything intact, take the bolt off the bottom, and slide the o-ring back on. And we'll just put this bolt back into place here. go ahead and reinstall our lamp at this point. Now while you're holding the top of the ceramic portion of the lamp here, you can get it put into the, uh, into the connector really easily. Just got to line up these four stepped pins with the steps on the inside of the lamp connector there. Do that here. Push that lamp connector all the way down. And then we can go ahead and reinsert that lamp connector on the top of the chamber. And then we just lock it in by pushing this clip all the way in. Once we've done that, we power the system back up. Now when you're powering the system back up, because you've changed your lamp, you will need to reset the lamp timer. And so to do that, you're going to want to hold the little black button. It's just right here on the side of your power supply. 
You just want to hold that button down while you plug it into power. And you will see power supply will show R set. That means it has reset the lamp counter. You can let go. And you'll see it goes back to the intensity display if you have a monitored system. Or if you have, do not have a monitored system, it'll show you 365, which tells you that's how long you have left in the life of your bulb.